Good evening. Tonight, our hidden cameras go inside families' homes. They see stressed out parents and kids being naughty and nice. So now we're designed to help you be a better parent and maybe see your own upbringing in a new light. We begin with one of the great frustrations of being a parent. How do you get your kids to obey? Once before, we heard some surprising ideas from an expert whose own son, Drew Bledsoe, is the pro football quarterback. How do you deal with a headstrong child? There's more than one exhausted couple who'd like to know. Five-year-old Joseph Marquez is a handful. Sometimes he's cute. I am hungry so much, I want to eat my head. Joseph likes to play with trucks, watch the Food Network on television. you know city. Likes to horse around with his father. Great. But often, when Joseph's parents, Kristen and Joe, tell him to do something they want him to do... You're going to take a bath tonight, period. This yes, happens. you are. No. He just disobeys. Get up now. And the tantrum goes on. No. And on. And on. I'll tell Joseph to do something, and he turns around and says no to me in my face. And his parents are upset that now Joseph's sister, three-year-old Victoria, is getting disobedient, too. Kristen and Joe say they're getting desperate. They feel they're fighting their children all the time. and They don't like the people they've become. Every other word out of my mouth is... Don't do that. Stop doing that. Play nice. It's always something negative. They've tried timeouts and mild spanking. Spanking doesn't work. Timeouts don't work. I'm just searching my brain for ways to discipline him to where it will stick in his mind. Go upstairs now. Go. Kristen and Joe's instinct, like many parents, has been to demand obedience. After all, for generations we've been told an obedient child is what parents should strive for. And the disobedience is just bad. I said no. And I said yes. I said no. Kristen and Joe agreed to let 2020 place hidden cameras in their homes so we could see what was torturing them. They say mornings are the worst. Both of them work full time, so getting up and out is always stressful. Joseph, Alex, I have to leave. I don't have time for this. 6.45 in the morning, it starts disobeying. You know, no, I don't want to get out of bed. No, I don't want to brush my teeth. No, I don't want to wear that. I want to wear this and battling. It goes on for half an hour. They fight over getting dressed, over brushing his teeth. Darn it, why is it so hard for you to do what I ask? Every time I have to take him in the morning, my day's ruined, and I get to work in the worst mood. Get up and spit, gurgle. I'm always late, and he just drives me nuts. After a long day at work, mom and dad would like a moment's peace, but the kids rarely give it to them. Eating dinner's chaos. The kids won't sit down. The fighting continues till every night's final bed, getting the kids to bed. I don't want to sleep with Joseph. Go to bed. Kristen and Joe love their kids, but all this fighting's made them question whether they should be parents. Sometimes I stop and I think, uh, I'm just no good at being a parent. I feel like nothing I do, it's not going to make anything better. I can't be a good mother, I can't be a good wife, because I'm so, my gas is gone. I'm just, you know, I have no patience. I, I feel like I'm not connecting with my husband. My kids don't mind me. I'm just emotionally, I'm done. I'm so done. I don't know what to do. There is nothing magic about these. Well, fortunately, Mac Bledsoe says he knows what to do. Bledsoe's not the usual child care expert you see on television. He has no degree in child psychology. His expertise, he says, comes from 29 years of school teaching and being a parent himself. He and his wife, Barbara, raised two successful sons. His youngest, Adam, is an entrepreneur starting his own business. And his oldest is pro football quarterback, Drew Bledsoe. Mac Bledsoe and his wife have developed a parenting course and produced a video series titled Parenting with Dignity. Now he's written this book about it. Explain things in behavioral terms that they understand. He travels the country giving seminars to parents. We asked Mac Bledsoe to meet with Kristen and Joe. First, we watched some of the video taken in their home. Joey, get your... I don't want to see you. Go. 
now. I'm failing in my parenting to my kids. I'm doing something wrong, and I don't know. That's what happens. <laughs> oh, that's what happens when you mess around. Just I really believe that we can take a couple of things here, and you can take what you're feeling as great frustration and turn it into moments of great joy. Well, with a couple things, you yeah. can fix this? Yeah, well, I'm not going to tell you we're going to do it in five minutes here, but yes. What Bledsoe teaches may surprise you. Disobedience, he says, can actually be a good thing. Knock it off. What could be good about disobedience? We'll find out next. Things are about to change in the home of Kristen and Joe Marquez. As our hidden cameras revealed, they're at their wits' end trying to get their five-year-old to obey. And as we continue, help has arrived. Mac Bledsoe's message to Kristen and Joe may seem radical. He says raising obedient children is not what parents should strive for. You just heard yourself to say, everybody. And many child psychologists teach this idea. Obedience as a tool for discipline is really, really dangerous. It does not teach children to think for themselves, and it teaches them to listen to an outside voice to find out how to act. The object ought to be to teach them how to make decisions for themselves. Start with letting them make decisions, he said. Easy ones where safety is not an issue, like deciding what to wear. That would have made this day easier. Joseph wanted to wear pants, though, because it was hot, his mother demanded he wear shorts. Joseph says, give the shorts away. Why can't you just give them to some poor kid on the street? You know what? Mommy makes the rules. Bledsoe says, why must Mommy make all the rules? You give decisions for them to make. Lots of them. Let them feel the power yeah. of choosing. Yeah, and the results of it. Let him choose and experience the consequences. Experience the consequences. That's key. The consequence on this day might be that in long pants he'll be sweaty, but so what? He'd learn from his own mistake. You teach a person to ride a bike by putting them on the seat. You teach a person to make decisions by giving them decisions. Bledsoe says lots of what Joe and Kristen no, view as disobedience is just Joseph being a normal, curious kid. Joseph, get out of the trunk, son, now. Why can't he play in the trunk a little? <laughs> Part of this is just cool. This is just a kid. He's having fun at the grocery store. Joey? Causing stress. Bledsoe says Kristen may be giving herself stress because she's trying to enforce too many rules. She ends up saying no all the time, and the kids just tune out. So pick your battles. Don't have a million rules. Yeah. But sometimes parents must set rules. Joseph has to get dressed for school. So how best to do it? We watch the tape of Joseph trying to wrestle his son out of bed. Joseph, Alex, I have to leave. I don't have time for this. Now I'm going to divorce you. Come on. Cringe. I'm looking at it. He's trained you to tell him when you really mean it. You don't mean it until you say, Joseph, Alex, I've had enough. Tell your children exactly what you want them to do. But they're already doing that. We're all, all of us are telling our kids, do this, do that. And watching the tapes, you're telling them what not to do. If I come to you and I say, don't kick elephants, what are you thinking about right now? Kicking the elephants. elephants. In the grocery store, there's an example of that. Joseph wants a toy, but Kristen tells him. You're not getting a toy, so don't ask. He says, you're not getting a toy. What's in his brain? getting a toy. You're not getting a toy, Joe. Bledsoe says Kristen should instead say, that's a cool toy. Let's put it back on the shelf and go find the popcorn. Because finding the popcorn is the picture she wants in his mind. I would suggest to you that going to the grocery store could become one of the most joyful times in your life. You believe Mac when he says this could be a joyful experience? Right now, honestly, no. Big Joseph Alex, get over here. Get over here. You better get over here. A first step, says Bledsoe, is to teach kids that decisions have consequences. Where in the world did he go? Okay. So in the store, Kristen should ask Joe to help her shop and hope he decides to do it. And if he doesn't do it, simply leave. Say what you mean, mean what you say, do what you say you're going to do. Another important.